Sup, Shinobis. Welcome back to the fall of Porcupine. It's our day off. There's nobody here. It's like a ghost town. I don't know what uh, we do on our day off. We haven't had a day off in over a week. He's right, though. Nobody's outside. Nobody's walking. I don't even know. I guess we can visit Carl to see if, like, he's okay. This area, this section... Don't know how to fix. Uh, wait, close for health control. Oh, because maybe the hospital like spread the news and was like, yo, just so y'all know, there's some stuff going around. Pina, are you okay? Oh, transmitted via the drinking water. Huh. Wait, need to be at the hospital as soon as possible. I thought it was our day off. Or am I tripping? Oh, wait, maybe he said like we start. Later on in the day. All right, well, that was my bad. Well, at least the protesters are gone. Oh, man, can you imagine the karma of everybody just being admitted? Oh, my God. Is it... Is it happening? You know what, Ingrid? You got a lot to worry about. Yeah, I mean, you can... Oh, my... There's beds everywhere, dude. It's pretty crowded here. You don't say... <gasps> How was the night shift? Don't ask. Don't ask. Pretty sure my bloodstream is like 80% coffee right now. Don't you want to take a break? Nope, nope. Break later. Things to do. They want us all to head to the break room. Dr. Krakowski's got something to tell us. Works for me. I was just going to get a uh, coffee or get myself another coffee anyway. Hi, Mia. Morning. I have a small announcement to make. You look tired, Dr. Krakowski. Did you even go home last night? We know more about... What we're dealing with now, but we still need some time. The bacteria is aggressive. We've been able to contain it to a certain extent, but some patients are still experiencing internal bleeding. But that's not what I called you here for. As you may have noticed, our wards are full. What's more, a few of our staff have also started falling ill. If more people are admitted as the day goes on, we will hit full capacity. And what does that mean? Means that if we run out of space, we're going to have to turn people away. Dude, I cannot imagine having to do that. Because then it's like, what if somebody's in just for like, a, you know, a stomach ache? And it's not like the biggest of concerns, but they still have to be there for like a day or two. But somebody's like vomiting blood. They're like pale white. Uh, shit's coming out of every orifice that they have and they gotta be like yeah no we can't take you in like that is crazy wait a minute Dr. Krakowski Carl don't you know you're not currently authorized to be here yeah 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 any idiot can see the hospitals bursting at the seams so it seems how else are we explaining your presence can't just sit by and watch people croak and I won't let you down just because of some stupid forced vacation Who's going to stop me? Dr. Theobald's vanished into thin air. If he wants me thrown out, he can come here and try it with his bare hands. And what's your plan? You think you can conjure up a second hospital with a wave of your magic wand? I don't need to. The ward on the fifth floor. Dr. Kukowski, we can get it running again. There's plenty of space up there and most of the beds are still in place. That ward's been out of operation for years. What, so you'd rather send all those sick people back home? Damn, got him stunned like with that one. I won't claim I'm happy about this, but since they're already here, get the fifth floor running as fast as you can. I'll help Carl with that. Can't say I'm surprised to hear you volunteer, Finley. I'll go to the lab and see Dr. Halil. I hope he has good news. Mia, Sandra, I leave this ward in your hands. Are you up to the responsibility? Yes. Ain't no thing. Good luck, everyone. Now get moving. Come on, Finley. Me and Carl got business. He probably suggested it because he found something. Do you really think we can do this? Sure we can. There's a lot of junk lying around and we've got no electricity. But we work together, we'll get the hang of it. It doesn't have to hold together for years. Just long enough for us to ride out this wave. I'll deal with the bedrooms. You take care of the corridors. We're not trying to win a prize for best interior design. Just clear enough space so we can get through. Understood. So what What am I... I'm literally just, like, cleaning? 
Oh, yep. <gasps> cool. Finley has magic powers. It's as good as new. Why did we stop using this word in the first place? It has a lovely rustic view. I don't think that's the word that he used, but I hit the button too fast. Maybe it had something to do with all the mold. <gasps> uh, the discarded machinery. That thick layer of dust that's covering everything. All right, all right. Major point. But the dust only moved in here later, you know. Okay. We've got almost everything we need. We're just missing the power. Might be able to help with that. I once administered emergency treatment to the junction box in surgery. I'm afraid this ward doesn't have a junction box. When the others got refurbished, this one was just left to rot. I had to guess the breakers for this ward are down in the basement. That's where the main distributor is. I'll go downstairs and turn on the power. Good. I'll get started filling up the beds and rooms. There's plenty of people waiting downstairs after all. Are we just going to act like nothing happened yesterday? Like Carl's not talking about it. Finley and Mia aren't asking Carl like what he found or what his next step is. I get they're swamped and they're worried about like everybody and getting everybody into a bed and everybody back on their feet. But still, man, I'd have questions at least. That's it. If I carry on like this, I'll be able to qualify as professional electrician soon. Not quite the the same. <gasps> Hold on, that's Dr. Theobald. What were you thinking? Have you any idea what's been going on around here? Yes, I know, of course. That's why I'm here. Just listen to me for a moment, please. I had to go. I couldn't stay here anymore. I take full responsibility. I always wanted to, or the best for St. Ursula's. Believe me. A few years ago, I was appointed chief physician, but not without help. Roman Hedrick already held a lot of influence over the hospital, even back then. He offered me the position of chief physician as part of a restructuring. At the time, I thought it was the best way for me to actively help the hospital. I was still too young, and I really earned the position. But I went along with it, and Roman supplemented me my predecessor. He had big plans. Everything was great at first, but Roman put more and more pressure on me. He had interests of his own. He didn't even try to hide them from me. He kept coming to me with strange ideas. He wanted to take more and more money out of the... Oh my God, it was the fucking insurance guy. What a fucking weasel. When I refused, he started blackmailing me. I had to sign bills, purchase orders, and other documents for him. Otherwise, he would blow the cover on our agreement. And as chief physician, I would have taken the fall for everything. That's why I went along with it. For the good of the hospital. As we drew more and more public attention, Roman got cold feet. He took off and advised me to do the same. Sooner or later, his cam would be uncovered. And well, here we are. But I couldn't leave the hospital in such a time of need. I will take responsibility for what I have done. I'm so sorry about everything. I never should have. Oh, hold yourself together. Look at yourself. I'm furious. I've never had thought you were capable of such a thing. If you really care about us and St. Ursula's, then get a move on and help the staff. Now. We don't have time for all this whining. But I... Damn, again! Oh, no. <gasps> this is not good. Dr. Kukowski, what's going on here? Finley, what are you doing here? I thought you were on the fifth floor. No matter. The power's gone out. Maybe we overloaded the grid. The hospital's running on emergency power. I'll speak to Gregor. We'll get this under control as quickly as possible. And I'll make sure that all the wards can continue working. Finley, please go to our ward. Check on Mia and the others. What about Carl? Carl is extremely experienced. He'll be fine without you for a few minutes. Alright, whatever you say. So the chicken was innocent this whole time. Mia, the power's out. Really. Are you alright here? Do you need a hand? Well, er, we'll muddle through. Sandra's got the word under control. Where's Dr. Krakowski? She's checking all the wards. Uh, I have everything they need. Dr. Theobald's taking care of the power failure. Dr. Theobald? Did I hear that right? Yes, he's back. I just ran into him while he was explaining himself to Dr. Krakowski. He was? Uh-oh. That's fire. That's not good. What do you mean? It smells like smoke. The fifth floor. Oh no. Carl, what the hell did you do? Everything was going great. Then there was this huge bang. 
sparks flying everywhere. And all that old junk. Oh my god, dude. Mia, I'm going upstairs. I have to check on Carl. Should I come with you? You stay here. Make sure the ward's evacuated properly. I... Okay, I could do this. Yeah, you better do it, Carl. I know we've had our differences, but I don't want you to die. Not like this. I'm coming, you fluffy bastard. The bed's stuck. Help me move it. There's no way this dude is that heavy. I feel like these move a lot faster than they're portraying. What are we going to do now? We need to put out that fire. First, we have to get everyone out of here. There's a plan for things like this. We evacuate everyone to the school gym hall. Oh yeah, he was talking about that way long ago. We can't use the elevators, so we'll need to carry people downstairs. Oh man, Benjamin and I can man the stairs. You got the bottom of the stairs and take the beds as we pass them down. Demi and Archie will be waiting at the front entrance. Take the beds to the front of the building. What about the other wards? They'll all be doing the same thing. Do you think Dr. Krakowski and me will be okay? Yes. We'll help them in a minute. Thank goodness we hadn't filled this ward up to capacity yet. Okay. Come on. There's no time to lose. Oh my, this is intense, bruh. Hello, horsey. You're just standing around. Help people. You too, Mia. What the hell? I've never seen you. Oh my. It's already spread down here, dude. How? Wait, what am I? I thought we were giving them to Archie and them. They're supposed to be in the back, right? I guess not. Oh, we got to push everybody out. Okay, to the front. I get it. Okay, what are the odds that this actually happens to a hospital? I feel like they're incredibly low because they take like a thousand percent precaution with things like this. He just pushed them straight out. He didn't even check to make sure that he made it out properly. Is that fire spreading like faster or am I just tripping? Look, look, I get Everybody got, you know, everybody out of their own ward. But help me, bro. You see there's other people still in the damn beds. You see me barely able to push this one. Mia, what the hell? Help me. Doc, come on. There can't be any more stuff that we need. Oh, okay. Finley, you're still here. You need to leave. Take the next transport to the gym. The rest of the staff are already on their way. I'm sure your services will be needed there. Don't you think I should do another check of the hospital? We might have missed some people. I've been to a lot of the wards. I'll do one last round on the ground floor, then I'll be right behind you. I'll come with you. You've done well, better than I could have done. I'll be all right. I'll just hold my stethoscope tight. Go now, Finley. He's gonna die, huh? We're gonna smell some KFC in a second. Oh, okay, I think I just misread it. I, th I read it as like, hand the people off to Archie. They meant we're gonna have a ride with them. Golly. Finley, there you are. We need all the help we can get right now. Come on. Take care of the sick as best as you can. I'll assign the teams, then I'll help you out as well. What are you waiting for? Show me what you can do. Okay, I just gotta go to the exclamation marks, I guess. Okay, perfect. That one's good. How about you, sir? What's going on? Ah, oh, shite. Yeah, these aren't registering. The ones that are, like, doubled up, they have a hard time like triggering whatever that one's done at least anybody else anybody else anybody else anybody else you sir all right golly this music is intense dude <laughs> man i'm on my way nah oh, shite whatever man that's probably the best that it's gonna get with those is there a possibility that one of these patients die um they're losing their heartbeat finley leave it dr kakowski glad you're here this patient's very sick I, she's beyond your help now, but can't you see? The woman's already dying. Yeah, she's already dead, man. Her pulse is gone. You can help me. I need you up front urgently. Please come with me, quickly. Poor guy, man. He's already had to face two deaths within a week, too. I don't think Finley's gonna continue working, man. I think he's done. Damn. What the f- It just ends like that? What? <laughs> Dedicated to the people who work in healthcare. That's definitely one way to end that shit. Okay, I don't think we can skip this, but I don't think there's gonna be, like, anything afterwards. I think it just goes to the main menu. Overall? Pretty good. Story was really good. What an intense ending. 
I um, did not think it was going to end off just like that because the doc asked for help and we walked outside and that was it. <laughs> Love the art style. The music is freaking great. I like the characters. I like the twist of the story and like how close to real life I'm assuming it is. I mean, I'm sure it's just as hectic. Probably not to that extent. Hopefully, you know, it never does get to that extent as far as like the whole building crumbling down and shit. But I liked it. It's definitely a cool little cozy game. Definitely has its you know flaws here and there. If they do work on something else, please, please. My, oh, there's vocals in this. <gasps> they caught him. You stupid bastard. We got a new plant. And they went back to drinking that shit. Okay, they did not learn their lesson. Aw. All the dice. Well, that's cool. They interviewed people, I'm assuming, in like nurses, docs, and etc. That's sick. <gasps> oh, I knew it. KFC. What did I say? Oh. <gasps> He's gonna come back to life. Something's happening. Something's going on. Oh no, it just takes you back to the beginning. Okay, no. I hit quick game and now it is stuck on this black screen. All right, I guess we'll end it off here. Well, as I was saying before, like the vocals came in. If they do make another one, please, manual saves would be very nice. And, um, you know, just some like grammar errors here and there, but I don't think this was like an English first game i think it was another language and also the buttons were like a little bit janky in the rpg mini game but other than that the game was great and the fact that you can like i don't i don't know if you could get a different ending that ending is probably the same whichever way you spit it but you can do different things like it locks you out if you choose like to go have dinner with mia instead of go with carl so i'm sure there's like other uh, relationships that can flourish even further depending on which way you go so that's pretty cool overall i enjoyed it there's definitely replayability in the sense that you want to have different conversations see what happens if you choose different decisions or make different decisions there's definitely that too hopefully y'all enjoyed the episode though hopefully y'all enjoyed the series if you did go ahead and like the video sub click the bell icon follow me on twitter let me see in the comments all that good stuff appreciate y'all much love and i'll see y'all in the next one Peace.